Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing the Topeak Pocket Rocket Frame Pump. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO92. So, sometimes you gotta pump up your tires while you're out on the road. It sucks when it happens, but it's better than walking home. This particular frame pump can be configured to fit either Presta or Schrader valves, um, so you can be anybody's best friend while you're out on a group ride. Um, So yeah, this this pump, the Pocket Rocket, does have a mildly unfortunate product name, but we'll roll with it. Um, It comes at about $20. This frame pump is very compact. It uh, comes with a little holster that mounts like alongside a water bottle cage uh, on your frame. Um, but, uh, and, and, and you know, it doesn't like interfere with the water bottle itself either. Like, so both of those can use the same mounting points. Um, I've never noticed the extra weight that this thing adds to uh, your, your bike uh, build. Um, it's, it's very, very light. Um, you do get a surprising amount of air per pump, like, um, you know, this very small tube, uh, it does give you quite a bit of, of, uh, volume in there, um, a surprising amount. Um, and I found that, you know, it, it doesn't take too long to get your tire up to like a rideable pressure. Um, when I say rideable, I don't mean ideal, of course, uh, you know, after you've pumped up your tire with one of these, you're definitely going to want to seek out uh, the nearest, like, proper floor pump that you can, um, but this will this will let you limp along until you find that. Um, supposedly, this pump can handle up to 160 PSI, which is plenty, that's way more than any bike uh, tire that I've ever encountered, um, but you're definitely not going to have the energy to uh, pump it up that high. Uh, I can guarantee that. So yeah, this thing is very small and compact. Um, Look in the show notes for a picture. As for durability, I do have some concerns. Um, So the little rubber cylinder that is inside the uh, like valve itself, um, this is this is like the part that you have to kind of take it out and reverse it in order to switch between like Presta uh, or Schrader valves. Um, and uh, mine got pretty darn deformed at one point. And I was able to like, you know, when, when you unscrew the cap that holds it in place, uh, I was able to kind of um, get my pliers in there and kind of pull it out uh, and then put it back in and it's and it's centered once again. Um, but ever since then, I've, I've had like a few like minor issues with it where like, um, I don't know, it, it whenever I have to pump up one of my Presta valve uh, uh, inner tubes, like it does bend the end of the Presta valve a little bit, um, which makes me pretty nervous. Um, so I don't know, I, I try not to use it as, as much as I can, um, but uh, you know, sometimes it's kind of unavoidable. Um, also the little like plug that's supposed to prevent like grit and grime from getting into the valve itself, um, it, it it isn't able to stay in the valve anymore. So like, I'm not able to plug it up and prevent that, you know, so who knows like what kinds of, what kind of debris is getting in there. Uh, Final thoughts. So I've heard a lot of people recommending like CO2 cartridges instead of using frame pumps entirely. So maybe I won't be like replacing this with a different frame pump. Uh, Maybe I should just like, get over myself and get some co2 cartridges and then i won't have to bother with like you know looking like i'm jerking off on the side of the road while i'm pumping up my tires (laughs) thanks for listening to this episode of second opinion i have been your host ian r buck you can find me on twitter as ian r buck this episode is released under a creative commons attribution license so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit as long as you link back to the original page which once again is thenexus.tv slash so 92 if you uh, have thoughts about frame pumps or co2 cartridges uh, please join us on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash the nexus tv Second Opinion is supported by listeners like Quentin Pongratz, who voluntarily joined us on Patreon. If 
you would like to help out as well and get some cool perks along the way, you can find us at patreon.com slash TV. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus, the Nexus, the Nexus TV podcasts from, from the, the technological, technological convergence. convergence. Technology is ever evolving. It touches every part of our lives, both influencing and being influenced by society. I'm Ian Arbuck, and I know it's hard to stay on top of everything you need to know to live in this digital world. That's why every month on the Extra Dimension, we explore a different aspect of the technological convergence. Find it on our website, thenexus.tv, or by searching for The Extra Dimension in your favorite podcast player.